Lila, you gotta call me Colin, all right? Mr. Gramercy sounds like a uh, biology teacher. <laughs> okay, Colin. That piece you were playing was beautiful. You know, Lila, I tell you, ever since I got hooked up with the Coalition, it's like I have a reason to write again. I have a reason to live, really. Am I late? Because I'm No, scared. you're you're early. Oh, nobody called you. We pushed rehearsal two hours. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Should I just come back? No, hey, so long as you're here, let me show you this place. It's great. Okay. You know what we're doing here, Lila? We're planting seeds. That's what the concert's all about. What kind of seeds are you planting? The kind of seeds that are going to help the planet grow into a united world. You know, Lila, the human race is still evolving, spiritually. We're becoming the gods we were always meant to be. This is for you. Wake them up to the truth. Because the truth can change people. It can change the world. But there's one truth that is so powerful and dynamic that the moment you hear it, it will change you. And that truth is, you are God. We are God. We are our own creation. The world is our creation, and we have the power to recreate this world. You have the opportunity to take part in the making of history, to radically intervene, to aggressively manage the world's resources and its destiny. This is the goal of the Coalition for World Unity. Thank you. God. How was it? It was great. It was really it was great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Colin, that was great. It was really cool. Yeah, you think maybe we'll shake some people up with that? Yeah, I mean, I want to go out and try and do everything I can. You know, Lila, we need a million more people like you.
and brothers and sisters think about how precious life is. Tonight we're going to have a healing service now, for there is one among us, one who needs our help. Let us bring him up here now and let the Holy Spirit anoint us and through him let us work to help heal our brother. This brother among us has a tumor in his head that is eating at his eyesight and his hearing with constant pain and migraines. And tonight we are going to call on the Holy Spirit through the one and only, the Master Jesus. And let us call on the Lord tonight with the Holy Spirit to anoint us. I cast out now 